In this video, let's practice finding critical points of the function in calculus 3. So critical points, as before, have correlation with the derivative. But now we have partial derivatives. So step 1 is to find partial derivative with respect to x, respect to y, and all other variables we have, if we do have. In this case, only 2. Partial derivative with respect to x gives you 0 when I'm looking at 5, and plus 76y. Then with respect to x, it will be plus 76x, right? Then it's going to be plus 0 and plus 0. So I would simplify. Maybe let's do it here. And I'll get 76y plus 76x. Looks very nice. Partial derivative with respect to y. Now your brain should switch and see x as a constant and y as a variable. Still 5 gives you 0 and then I will have 76x this time plus 0 plus 240 because we had 240y and plus 4y cubed or 4. Let me simplify this one. It gives you 76x plus 240 plus y cube. So we have uh, both functions now. I'll put them in the box. Partial derivative with respect to x and partial derivative with respect to y. And we need to solve this system when you set each partial derivative equal to zero and uh, also you want to find DNA points and there's no DNA points here. So we're solving this system when each was set equal to zero. And there are many ways to do that. We were teaching you how to do elimination method or substitution method. And in this case, I will just subtract one equation from another one. So 76y plus 76x equals to zero. 76x plus 240 plus y cubed equals to zero. When I subtract one from another one, I'll have 76y, 76x minus 76x gives you zero, plus this write down 240. Now it's going to be minus because we subtract minus 240 and minus y cube equals to zero. Since it's equals to zero, I can divide by the negative sign and rearrange everything so it will be a cubic function, y cube minus 76y plus 240 equals to zero. It's not very trivial how to find roots for cubic functions. We usually recommend to make guesses. Uh, plug in plus minus one, plus minus two, plus minus three, plus minus four, plus minus uh, five, plus minus six, and so on. And uh, until you find three roots, you expect to have three roots or less. So, because there might be same roots or no roots, or just one root. So, or you can use one more method, and the one more method is either guessing or graphing. Graphing. So that's why I have a graph prepared for you here. Here is the graph of this function y cubed minus 76y plus 240. It has three places where it intersects uh, y-axis. And those three places, if you use your graphing calculator or any graphing tool, will give you uh, three roots y equals, as you can see, minus 10 on the very left. The next one will be 4. The next one is 6, minus 10, 4, and 6. To complete the answer, we also need to find axis, right? So this is our y's, uh, where the axis will come from. From this equation, number 1, this one. If I rewrite it again, I will say then from equation 1, which is 76y plus 76x equals to 0. This equation can be simplified. Well, let's divide by 76y plus x equals to 0. y equals, let's do x, x equals minus y. So whatever points we just found over here, change the sign and it will give you corresponding x value for the corresponding y value. Thus, we have answers. We have three critical points 
three critical points. Remember, those are pairs. When y is minus 10, x should be minus y. So it is plus 10. That's a pair. When y is 4, x should be minus 4. And then when y is 6, x should be minus 6. And this is the result. So remember, when you found 3 or so, whatever, numbers of y outputs, you need to go and find the relationship between y and x, and now find corresponding to each x values. That's how you get pairs, in this case, three pairs of points, which are all critical points for this function. And then after this, you can find, you can analyze all of them and see if any of them give you critical solutions like maximum minimum or a settle point.